is an important metaphor to understand ecological resilience. With this trunk, it has very different fibrous and modular structures that allow a behavior that we can call resilient. On one side, it is soft to react to the environment, and on the other side, it becomes very hard to protect the core. This is a mechanism that I think could work at the same time for materials in architecture and design, and that is where we have started our consideration for mattress, the installation we will have here at the Biennale of Venice, that has this name that is material resistance, but is also madras, as madera, as material. It's a material that implies a very, very important virgin wool woven with amorphous microfilament to protect from electromagnetic waves based on the principle of energy absorption and of skin effect. Discarded coffee grounds and hemp are being wasted in large quantities through the urban environment. To bound with biobate agent is highly porous surface works very well and in compression with hemp it can increase the tensile strength with optimal performances. Besides being done of exclusively organic materials, they are, they are biodegradable and harmless for the environment. The textile tubes fill the space and represent the vessel of a tree trunk. The conducts that transport water and sap from the roots to the tree to its leaves. The textile tubes are produced on advanced digital knitting machine on demand by the intelligent company from natural fibers and photoluminant fibers. It will be a very interesting experience. Cotton cellulose modules based on cotton litten mixed with high quality clay and colored with natural hearse pigments compose the column showcase high sound absorption performances in the face of extremely reduced thickness. It's resistant to fire and water and the material is fully reused after the installation. Plants are, resist are resilient systems that hold the ability of actively adapting to environment by tuning their physiology, growth behaviors and architectural morphology. This graphene nano pellets based thermal circuit printed on polyamide fabric reproduce the pattern of plant to simulate the effect of an increased temperature in plants. A smart spacer textile explores three-dimensional structure of the spacer fabric by embedding technological features to set up a circuit on the outer layer. The use of conductive yarn allows to hook up the sound sensor to an array a LED light which will be according to the sound condition of the space. Plants can really be in, the, in buildings a living system and assure many advantages both to the interior space and the urban one. Shadow effect avoids rapid overheating. The vegetal layer brings acoustic insulation, photosynthesis assures CO2 absorption and oxygenation of the air can act as a biofilter of pollutants. The textiles consist of 3D printed semi-rigid structures on pre-stretched elastic fabrics. From the materials balance group, the hybrid printing technique combines additive manufacturing and tension active mechanism that cause planet distortion. Thus, shape shifting morphic textiles generate complex large-scale three-dimensional shapes starting from simple two-dimensional patterns. When mycelium becomes the ground with its natural recycle of matter for a real component design and construction. Everything that humans can call waste is a new train for a growth and a stronger column. Grown into form, it acquires acoustic and thermal performances. It can go very good in compression strengths, fire and water resistance. It's 
the external layer of textile that represents the bark of the tree trunk and it's being entirely made from organic cotton. This sustainable yarn is defined by smoothness, versatility and easy workability and can be implemented with antibacterial properties. Being produced with respect to the environment, it is sustainable and totally biodegradable. The anthropocenic perspective has led us to deal with herds in a consumeristic way, opening the path for waste, climate change, pollution and a lot of other perspectives that are no longer viable. Material Research Group aims at rebalancing our impact on the environment, on the habitat, on the herds, with a new approach that is completely different and it can innovate our practice. Mainly, it's a responsible approach that balances and rebalances the relation with the environment through design, production, material, a real deep study that will change also from a societal point of view how we impact in our environment.